This is Survival 31. I'm just putting up the last of the new batch of reviews. I'm going to put about five or six reviews up at once. So kind of you guys have a lot to chew on for right now. While I make some more over the next couple days, I'm just finishing high school, so I'm going to have plenty of time on my hands. This is a Wanger Swiss Army knife. This is the uh, Wanger Top Executive 88 model. It is kind of like the classic, which I used to carry on my keychain but on steroids to a serious, serious level. Uh, this one is in matte black, the gloss kind of matte standard uh, Swiss Army knife for the Wangers and the Victorinox scales, uh, the plastic ones, black. It's pretty beat up. I got it as a TSA confiscation. I paid $8 for it. From what I can tell, these retail in the States for around almost $40 to $50 mark, so I got a great deal on it because... That is a lot less than 40 or $50. I'll just go ahead and start with what I pull out first here. You've got this standard Wanger plier, uh, scissors, which I actually like a lot more than the Victorinox style. The Victorinox have a dinky little spring in here that you can actually just push out with your finger on accident. These actually use a mechanism that's attached in the core of the Swiss Army knife right here, like that, and you just press down with your thumb, and the spring is this metal bar that comes back with the mechanism of the pliers. These pliers kind of have a little bit of an edging on the inside of them. I can't see it's sort of like a jimped texture. Helps really well. These cut better than the standard Victorinox Swiss Army knives too. I tend to lean a little more to the Wanger side, personally. The scissors are the first two I pulled out. We have a very, very small precision flathead screwdriver. I've actually used this to fix my glasses when uh, a lens popped out and just unscrewed it and popped it back in and tightened it down. Works very well. And I actually, it's a feature I really appreciate. Uh, we have sort of an awl slash punch type device right here. You can use it to maybe fix your pants, punch a hole. Just really a lot of different uses. I'm sure you guys out there that are into survival, kind of outdoor stuff, would have plenty of uses. You could figure out for that. We have our lanyard ring on the outside. I attach this to my keychain with a night eyes uh, S beaner. I have one somewhere over here. Let me just grab it off my keychain and I'll show you guys. It's a number zero size, like that right there. Just pop it through the loop and you can attach it to a bigger keychain ring. Right? After that, we have our main knife blade. It's the standard Wanger one. It's got the Wanger proof marks, so you know it's a real one on the base of the blade, and it's got the Wanger mark on the flip side. Uh, after that, we have our nail file. The Wangers use the same blank as the knife blade for their nail file. It's got the file part here, and you can just pick your fingers out with that. It's not sharpened or anything like that, so it's not going to cut you. And then we have a flathead sort of bottle opener, wire cutter, and just a flathead on the top. Pretty much standard for something like this package. It's uh, fairly thick. Takes up a little bit of space on the knife, but other than that, it's a great little tool. And the only other real features of here are your toothpick and your standard tweezers, which are inside of the top right here. And then just all the tweezers. I love it. I'm so glad I picked one of these up. I've used about all the tools on here at one point or another, and it's just a great knife to kind of have around. If you get the chance to pick one up in the States, I'd say go for it if you get the chance to pick one up in these period. They're a great buy. I wish I picked two or three of them up while I had the chance. Uh, just have them kind of stashed around like I do the classics. I have about four or five classics that I picked up at yard sales and a couple that I've actually bought new, gotten as Christmas stocking stuffers. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to be posting up some reviews in the next couple days to go along with these of like the OtterBox case for my phone here. Uh, the Bison Design belt that I have over here, which is a nice belt, possibly the Mighty Wallets. I've got a couple of these. They're an awesome product, as well as my keychain. I'm going to do some review of it as a whole, and then of some of the other items on here, like this Photon Microlite. And I've got another Swiss Army knife I picked up. I'm going to do a review. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, so I was 31 out.